Good day, ladies and gentlemen, lovers and subscribers all over the world, viewers also are included. I welcome you to this honorable broadcast of this mid afternoon of the 27th of uh, November in the year 2022. You still remember, I am your one and only Okute Daily Talk, where we speak the undiluted truth about things of life about the Biafran struggle and about the psychopaths and never do well governors and ministers and the presidents of uh, the, the zoological republic of nigeria who have vowed that they will never stop at nothing other than to eliminate every Biafran youth but their prayers and all their struggles have not been working because we have the almighty quote here with us on daily basis so please before I move on with this uh, very broadcast of uh, Biafran news at this very moment, please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I want you to do that as soon as possible. Please, like, share, and also comment on my content so that I will know that you are watching. Because without you, there will be no me. That is why I will keep on praising and thanking each and every one of you out there who have been doing one thing or the other. To make sure that this ministry is moving to the permanent side. May the Almighty Chukokia Biamonia Primianile bless the words of your hand and meet you at every point of your need. And this I pray. He say, he say, he say, child. I don't carry my people go at another different level. Now me, you know, we are another person. Now see the same person, that same voice is it? No. I just want to try something new. But please, let's go straight into the business of the day. If you have not subscribed, please endeavor to do that. Let's take the headlines before we can be able to then pinpoint the those news that is matters to us and those ones we need to learn to know how we are going to control our movement in this festive season. Please, my advice to all my listeners, my subscribers, and those ones who in one way or the other are supporting this ministry, please be careful in this festive season. Danger is on the way. The Zoological Republic of Nigeria, they have vowed to, de to deal with every youth that come from Biafra land. Whether you are living in Biafra land or you are living outside Biafra land, so please take note of this. No matter all their evil plans, just be rest assured that we will still be wiring strong every day by day. Because nothing is going to stop us and nothing is going to stop this struggle. Biafra, let Nam the Canals release be your Christmas gift. Human Writers uh, International uh, Association, Chadis, Buari, and Malami, and other cabals who have vowed not to let our leader go. Hesmen attack. Governor Ugwanye storms Mbuji, forest, and other locations on fact finding missions. You people conspired and chased uh, 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 um, ESN. From Enugu State. Since then, Enugu State have never had peace. Since then, Enugu State have been from one headers attack to, to the other. They keep killing and maiming our youth so simply because the power that be join hands with the locals and also the, the, the monarchs, I mean the Igwes, and conspired because those ones they have they have they have sold their birthright to, to, to the Flanic Abbas. They have sold their birth rights to all those people who have been dealing with their own children and their generations. Well, that is the repercussion of chasing away. Not that, not that I'm supporting the attack or not that I'm supporting the Fulani Hills men, but the truth needs to be told. Bring back the ESN in the Nugu state. That is where we stand. So let us move. Group moves to the night Ndibo 52 years after civil war. Supported, supported, and supported. 2023, P2B will redeem Nigeria, says Isa El Buba. That is another awesome man who has come to tell the simple truth. Now, about all these hooligans and psychophants who keep on uh, promoting something they know that it is evil and they still go ahead to promote it. Because of their own selfish desire or because of what they, 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 they stand to gain. They don't want to stand on the truth. Well, uh, we have a, a, a breaking news and also a good news for them. That, uh, and we, have, we will go to disappoint them in short. Human Rights, uh, Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Huriwa, 
on Sunday taxed President Mamadou Buhari to free the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazit Nam de Kano, as a 2022 Christmas gift to the Southeast geopolitical zone. Human Rights, uh, okay, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria National Coordinator Comrade Emmanuel Omubiko in a statement challenged the president to be a man of his word by leaving the judiciary to decide on Kanu's fate without any political interference or vendetta. The group asked Buhari to direct the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abuba Kamalami to comply with the appellate court judgment freeing the Maze Namdekan or Madike one of Ndibo. Women Rights Writers Association of Nigeria believe that the release of Kanu will restore peace and stability to southeast of Nigeria and restore economic growth of the zone. Women Rights Writers Association expressed disappointments and consternation at the non-challenged attitudes of the governors of the southeast of Nigeria towards mounting pressure on Buhari. Uh, on President Muhammad Buhari to free Ma, to free Ma Azin Nam Dekano from detention. Who are those ones who are going to mount uh, uh, this, uh, what do they call it, uh, serious uh, pressure on Buhari? Is it uh, Ugwani? Or is it uh, this one that I have discussed and said, say he, the, he said not belong to Biafra? That, uh, 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 what, what would I call it? That moron called uh, um, Umahi. Or oh, are you going to say that uh, uh, this uh, baby boy, a be baby of the Kabas, uh, who is a danger, is the one that will mount pressure for President Muhammad Buhari to release Martin Nakano, whereby they are the one that is holding Martin Nakano. Yeah? When Appellate Court gave the judgment, what did Malami say? That he have to have a meeting with the all Southeastern governor. So since then, what is the outcome, outcome of the meeting? No one have ever come out. To tell us that uh, they have agreed to release Martin Nam the or they have not agreed. But the simple truth still remains that they are the ones holding Martin Nam the I mean, the Eastern governors. So no one should even, even include them in this, uh, uh, the, those who's going to mount pressure on Buhari. You know? The people who's supposed to mount pressure on Buhari is the prominent men who have the evil land. The ones who have companies scattered all over the world. They need to give. This man, at least, an ultimate man deadline that if not release this man, then you, you, you have to contend with us. But they don't do that simply because they have committed themselves in one way or the other to the government. So when the, when the there's an alarm anything concerning Mazen Nam the Kano, EFCC will go after them. We know all these things, but we kept silent. In May, Buhari had a meeting with a Boris State Stakeholders Forum held at the government house in Abakaliki, said a political solution to Kano's travails was impossible and insisted that only the court will decide his fate. The court have decided. Now they have said no, which is everywhere. I have listened carefully to the various appeals from the elders to the traditional leader regarding a wide range of options and as I have said previously, this matter remains in the full uh, purview of the court where it will be properly adjudicated. adjudicated. Buhari has promised. However, about 18 months since this unwarranted detention at the DSS custody in Abuja, the IPOB leader has not tested freedom despite the judgment of the cause granting him freedom and, and awarding billions of Naira as damages against the federal government for his extraordinary rendition from Kenya in mid 2021. At the moment, the major presidential uh, candidate for the 2020 general elections, including Labour Party's P2B, Bola Tinumbu of All Progressive Congress, and Atik Abubaka of the People's Democratic Party, have opened that they will explore dialogue to end the secessionist uh, agitations in the Southeast and restore the economy of the Igbo people, which has been mired by the untold violence and activities of unknown. Government. Commenting, Human Rights Writers Association of uh, 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 Nigeria, Omubiko said, As thou and none, all the major presidential candidates for the 2023 presidential election have adopted negotiated settlement 
to end agitations by IPOP and other sectionist groups like that of Yoruba Nation, Agitator, Sunday Adeyomo, aka Sunday Boho. This is a clear signal to President Muhammad Buhari that he has got it all wrong. Seven years ago, since he opted for only military me methodology and the extraordinary rendition of uh, Mazin Namdekanu, lastly refused to comply with the appeal court decision freeing Namdekanu, the president should honor his words and order Malami to heed the appeal court's verdict for Kano's release. Anything aside from this shows that Buhari and his regime have no respect for the rule of law, and this is not surprising based on his antecedent as a military general. This is the most auspicious time for Buhari to make amends and release Nam de Kano immediately as his Christmas gift and one of his uh, government's major uh, parting gifts to Nigerians and generations. And generations unborn because of the potential that the release of Nam de Kano will restore peace and stability to southeast of Nigeria and restore economic growth of the region. And that is the simple truth that refuse they don't want to to accept well how can they accept it how can they pray for because they know that holding of man the kano is killing the economy of the south is which have been what they are targeting which have been their prayer all this while to make sure that they are looking in any way they will they will clamp the wings of the the eastern i mean the beer france but but in anything they try they have done many kind of atrocities to the north to, i mean to the to the uh, 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 easterners uh, to the extent of carrying your goose eh, from Lagos to to Onosha, eh, you will pass checkpoints not more than 1,000 checkpoints. Police set checkpoints, which they started on those roads, which they know that every Igbo man that is an importer must, must die, they must flee that road. Their containers must flee that road. And as they are going, that's how they are spending. As they are going, that's how they are spending. Then enter car or enter bus from here to north. You will find out that's one or two, uh, what do they call it, uh, checkpoints. And the, the road, who, that is, who's our Sarah? That's the place I have. I lived there. I studied my, my, my Genesis 1 to SS3, all in the north. And I know all these things. Even running nice, before you found a police, a police checkpoint, you will drive how many kilometers before you find one. Then the, 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 the incidents uh, have not uh, grown to this level. You understand me? So that is it. They keep doing everything humanly possible to make sure that they frustrate the Easterners, to make sure that the economy of the Easterners grows to zero, forgetting that na aka de kujongwa. Eh, the hand cannot cover the, the moon. That is what it was are. You can never, whatever you do, if you want to cripple the, 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 the economy of the Easterners, that means you have to go all over the world and uh, stop them from wherever they are doing their businesses. Because most of the people you are hearing like them today, maybe they don't even have a shop in the, in the, in the Easterners. It's all, it's all outsiders, even the importers. If they import their goods, if they decide they cannot take, bring it to the east, they can sell it off either in a, in a what do they call it, in Lagos, Kano, Kaduna, or wherever they decide on. And they keep on making their profits. So whatever they are doing in any way, in any form, to, uh, that, so that they can protect the Easterners by holding mass in them, they can despite the fact that it is not good for the nation and also for the Eastern region. But let the needful be done by President Mamadou Buhari and Abubakar Malami and other cabals who are holding Martin Nam de Kano in DSS uh, dungeon called uh, captives. Herder's attack. Herder's attack. That's another news on our uh, on our line of our news today. Governor Ugwan is stormed the areas on uh, fact finding missions. What fact finding mission? Bring back the ESN. That is the truth. And you have the earlier you do it, the better. Because all these ones that surround you here, they are among those. Because the, the, the indigenous there will say that when all these sellers are attacking, if you call police, police will not answer you. You call the military. Imagine in Enugu that have a two division. Yeah? A two military division in Enugu state. Military, I mean uh, uh, um, bandits are still fly all the way from the north to come there to attack. Come on, let us tell outside the truth now. Nah. Yeah? You know, yeah, how do how would you say it? Uh, there is an Igbo idea that you say that I'm not going to be 
many that's how they used to say that in our country, our country college, uh, because it has been so very long. But ne ne nevertheless, let's proceed with our news. But when I find Uguani of Enugu State on arrival at the Akanu Bia International Airport, Enugu yesterday evening, proceeded set to Eha Amufu on a fact finding me, uh, visit to obtain first hand information about the issues that led to the recent crisis in uh, Agua Malade and uh, Mboji communities. Governor Uguani, accompanied by the State Commissioner of Police, CP Ahmed Amani, the garrison commander of two divisions of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General M.K. Ibrahim, and the Anglican Bishop of Nike, Nike Diocese, Right Reverend Dr. Christian Onyeka Onya, visited Mboji communities, uh, community, different forests, markets, village squares, and other locations in, in Eha Amufu, where he interacted with the indigenous to ascertain the remote cause of the recent crisis in the community with a view of to addressing the lingering issues in the area decisively. The governor emphasized with the people asserting how they were fearing and assertioned them of his administration's commitment to their safety and well-being as well as the resolution of the crisis between farmers and headers in our own land. In our own land. The Eha Amufu Indigenous Appreciation Governor Iguani for the rare visit, especially at night, certain that the gesture was a dem de demonstration of his commitment to ending the farmers and headers issue in the Eha Amufu. They reported out that Iguani was the first governor to visit Eha Amufu over the lingering crisis in the area and thanked him for the 10 million naira he released for the immediate needs of the victims among other interventions. The question there is, can this money he released get to the, the people who needed it? That is the question. Can he reach their hand? Maybe at the end of the day, he found out that it's only one million naira that they will release because Nigerians, Nigerians, child. Because our people is a problem of our people. Igbos are a problem of Igbos. Because this money being released now, when it, before it gets to the, the people that needed this money, I'm very sure that even half of it they will not get. But to be from uh, one hand to the other hand, to the other hand, to the other hand, to the monarch in the society, whereby he will call them and uh, say that they go here why with the half can hear they on television, and uh, he will sharpen it out and give to them and uh, pack other ones inside their personal pockets. Group moves to unite Ndibo after 52 years of civil war. Pan Igbo group, Ndibo Royal Heritage, has embarked on a mission to reunite the Igbo race 52 years after the Nigerian Biafra War. The President, uh, the President General of uh, Ndibo uh, Royal uh, Heritage, Dr. Paul Okoye, disclosed this while briefing newsmen in Oka, Anambra State Capital. He lamented that the Ndibu, despite being uh, very successful with many achievements and investments scattered all over the world, do not have anything to boast of in their own homeland, thus making the Igbo land appear desolate. His was about 70% of the investment in Abuja belongs to the Igbo people. About 60% of the investment in Lagos belongs to the Igbo people. About 18 million Igbo live in three great states in the north. That is Kanu, Kaduna, and Castena. And about 8 million Igbo live in Lagos mainland alone. Thus, only Lagos mainland alone will have 8 million Igbos. Wow. Added to this, he noted that the people of Igbo extraction do not have a role model, unlike uh, people of the other tribes in the country, who have uh, people they, they look up to as their role models and whose ideology they emulate, according to him. The Yoruba have a wallow in the West. He is still symbolic in their life. The Northerners have the Sultan in the North. And he is uh, still symbolic in their life. Here in the Southeast, who do we have? Who is Zeke to us? Do we still remember him? He questioned. He therefore all the people to find a common way to right the wrong of the past. According to him, the Unity Day celebration ties unification of Igbo nation 
our aims to bring in the Igbo nation together as a people to their awakening, the consciousness, the, the consciousness of brotherhood, love and unity among the Igbo people. He expressed op op optimism that the initiative, which will be an annual event, will help to bring back the thing that held the Igbo together before the war. He disclosed that the five-day Maiden event later to hold this year in Anambara would kick off on November 29, 2022, with a marathon that will start at the Ugu, Wanosike, in Ogidi, and end at Oka. That is the news on how he plans to bring back or to bring Igbo, uh, Igbos together in Nigeria after the after two years of the civil war. So my great people of Biafra, we still have uh, more news to give, but I really want to make this in a brief, but let us uh, look into one more news concerning uh, P2B and uh, what uh, the Hausa man is saying, how he's going to uh, redeem Nigeria, according to Asa L. Buba. The founder of the Initiative for Better and Brighter uh, Nigeria, IBBN, Prophet Isa E. Buba, is op optimistic that the Labour Party presidential candidate P2B will redeem Nigeria if he becomes president in 2023. He added that 2023 is the time for a new Nigerian nation and that God will use Peter Obi to achieve that purpose. E. Buba, a former Muslim turned Christian who was the guest speaker during the dedication of the Christian Revival Mega Church, Abba, explained that God has chosen to redeem Nigeria through Obi, adding that with God on the side of the Nigerians, the forces that had held the nation down have been defeated. His words, it is time for a new Nigeria. 2023 is the year. Peter Obi is the man to bring a new Nigeria. God will redeem Nigeria in 2023. I serve a God that, that when he says yes, uh -huh. No one can say no. With God, all things are possible. The power of God has already cleared the way as 2023 is the time for the light of God to shine on his people in Nigeria. I stand for P2B because he represents a new Nigeria. How many of you are ready to retire Bola Tinumbu and all the old men? God has already decreed a new Nigeria comes 2023 according to Ebuba. A Buba or the founder of the Christian Revival Mega Church Bishop Sunday, Eguche, to continue to care for the poor and needy and pray for God, pray for God to bless his ministry. Earlier, Bishop Eguche noted that he has enjoyed God's blessing since he received the call to start the Christian Revival Mega Church in Abba. He urged Nigerians to elect a leader who has the heart to use the resource of the nation to make life better for the people. Insisting that Nigeria has all it takes to become a developed country, the cleric regretted that only few people have continued to enjoy the wealth of the nation. While the, the, the majority suffer, he urged Nigerians to elect someone who has the capacity to change the ugly narrative of how they have seen Nigeria as a failure to uh, uh, achievements. We are looking forward to a new Nigeria. It pains me to see people suffering. In 2023, Nigeria needs to elect a leader with a heart to work for the people. We are tired of a few people enjoying the wealth of the nation. Nigerians must elect a presidential candidate who has the heart to use the resource of the nation to take care of its people. The, the, the dedication service featured praises, worship, and the intercessory players, prayers for good governance and peace and harmony in the country according to uh, and Buba speaking. So my great people, you people have heard it from the door, horse's mouth. If you like, you can keep on uh, shouting uh, Buariu Chagabano, the one that is uh, go and get your B A A APV to vote him. I beg you people to go and get your APV or uh, B uh, APC supporters. Get your APV. Uh, while others, please go and get your PVC to vote p to b That is where we stand. And also in the Biafra land, we know what we want, and what we want is the release of Mazin Namdekano and the freedom of Ohamadike One of Igbo land. So this broadcast is coming to an end here. I am signing out. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, endeavor to do that as soon as possible. If you have not liked any of my content or have not uh, uh, smashed 
that notification button please i want you to do that asap like share comment and also invite your family and friends i am signing out i'll come your way again bye for now okay,